All right, Clinto from KULP here. We're in Schillenberg, Texas at the KC Hall, and we're celebrating the 30th birthday anniversary of the Texas Polka News. And now we have Teresa Parker, and between her and her crew of Gary McKee and several others, y'all have really turned this into a uh, really major magazine publication, doing a great job promoting polka music. Teresa, y'all are celebrating all of that today. Give me your thoughts on... uh, Everybody that showed up, what a great crowd. It was a great crowd. I, it was beyond what I expected. And I can't thank everyone enough for their support, continuing to subscribe, talking about us. And we get a lot of people on Facebook sharing our um, information. And, you know, what really makes me proud is I think Julius Tupa would have really loved this. He certainly would have. i tell you what, though. It's, it is a great publication, and you have done a wonderful job with it. And hats off to you and the whole crew. Well, thank you. Um, I couldn't do it without Gary McKee, who's the editor. Gary has this, um, you know, great sense of history and Texas history especially, and Texas music history. And uh, he puts that together for some really great columns. We have some photographers who, you know, not paid, um, who go to these events and they take pictures and they send those in and we have them on Polka Beat and we have them in the newspaper. So that shares with our readers what's going on out there. And I gotten so many compliments from the readers saying they love seeing all the photos of all the events and festivals and dances. Yeah, you were talking about putting things together as far as the magazine. I'm telling you, to put this many great bands together and put this entertainment together for today must have been a chore. And wonderful planning, having Chris Reebok play while the bands are doing the set changes on stage and everything. Y'all did a wonderful job planning this. How long did it take to set this all up? I started planning two years ago. And um, actually, I was just going to do a night thing. I was going to have a band. But then I got all these uh, uh, requests from bands saying, hey, we want to play. And uh, I, I even had to turn some away. I mean, people, you know, some of the bands wanted to play for this event. So actually, that was kind of the easy part. I was able to, you know, book some really great bands. And I just appreciate their support so much. Well, I tell you what, that's what it's all about. And what you see these days, the polka dances are still bringing people out because everybody is happy and they're wanting to have a good time. It's a wonderful music, and it's uh, it's great to have a magazine that promotes it like y'all. It's everything that involves polka music, y'all are right in the middle of. Thank you. And, you know, I've had some readers comment um, that they like getting the polka news because it's happy news. It's not the news that's on uh, TV or Twitter (laughs) or any of these uh, sad events that are happening in the world today. This is happy news about happy music. There's no drama, there's no politics, there's no anything else. It's just a wonderful, fun, good time had by a lot of really good, wonderful people. And y'all are a part of that. Just one more thing. I know you're a busy lady today, and we don't want to keep you much longer. Tell me, uh, what's the future of the magazine, and what are y'all looking to do uh, in the future? Well, you know, we were really glad to start in January that it's online now. It's available as an e-edition, so that was an extra um, goal that we had for that. And we just want to keep promoting it and get the subscription rate up. And, you know, maybe looking at covering some more national events um, because all of our readers like a really good festival and it doesn't matter where it is, they will go. (laughs) Exactly. Well, I'm telling you, in the last several years that I've been coming out to all of these dances and watching all of this, the crowd is getting younger and younger and younger. The bands are getting younger and younger and younger. So, in your opinion, polka music has a long future ahead of it, right? It does. It does. It may, um, you know, some of the Saturday night dances may not be drawing as many as it used to, but you look at the church picnics, you look at the festivals, And that's where the families go, all generations, because they love it and they want to keep the the culture alive. 
And that's what it's all about, family and friends and everybody having a good time. Teresa, thank you very much. We love you and thank you for everything you do for Polka Music. Y'all really go above and beyond to promote this music, the musicians, the bands, the events, the picnics, the festivals, and anything else that has anything to do with Polka Music. So uh, all we can say is Polka on. All right, yes, Polka on. Polka on. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you all.